Do you know you can make your home coconut candy at home? That will make you happy and everyone around you. This is so easy and it is so, so super yummy. It's a must try for everyone. Get your coconut, get it out of the shell. You know how you're going to do it. You need to break it. Get it out of the shell and rinse it well. All you need to do is just to slice it like this, not too small, because you need to grate it. Okay, get your grater and do it this way. Just the way we do okra. You know, you know the way we grate okra. That is how it's going to come out. But if you want to have it easier, get this. This sumo slicer, wow. You can use it for anything it has different different sizes of grater okay i'll be using this that will grate it exactly like the grater like the one i did at the beginning you can see this even if you are grating 20 coconuts you can do it easily and everything will come out perfect like this so all you need to do now is now get your pot pour sugar inside for exact measurement please check the comment section or the description box you're going to see it there spread it well turn on your heat and then leave it for a while you need to be checking it from time to time you can see it has started to melt it's going to caramelize and you are going to see how it's going to come out so first of all we need to melt the sugar can you see the second stage this is how it's going to turn to later you keep mixing until everything is well melted and caramelized like this now get the coconut pour it into the sugar yes introduce coconut into the sugar add salt into it you know the combination of salt and uh sweets sweet and salt my goodness they are great combo and the natural aroma that will come from this coconuts we are using it's a great combo so you're going to continue to mix together you leave it for a while you mix together as long as you can still sit the down of the pot bubbling that means it has water from the coconuts okay it produces its own juice but it has to dry out completely so can you see how it looks now can you see the down of the pot it is now ready mix it well until it is okay to your own taste if you want it more browner keep turning like this don't allow it to get burnt okay so when it is done like this get a plate pour everything on it and allow it to cool down a bit when it is warm it has to be warm not cold fully now be working it depends on how big you want it to be you want it to be all right just take part of it mold it in your hand and um you can do it the way i did just with one hand or you put it with the second hand and let it form in this ball form it's going to come out super super yummy it is super easy and then leave it to cool down completely this is what you're going to have i'm telling you a must try for everyone freeze it it can stay up to months i'm telling you even up to a year it will come out super crunchy anytime you take it don't even allow it to defrost before eating it you eat it like this let me show you can you see it it is eatable super delicious frozen or not frozen give it a try thanks for watching